Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Come and join us. Third day of the GMF. Uh, the ranks are getting thinner. Thank you for, for being with us uh, uh, so early. Um, I, I hate starting with, um, with tough love, but uh, you know when we look at our profession uh, over the last few years, um, the profession of journalism has become uh, well, bewildering, bewildering and, and daunting in many ways. Um, you know, we have things like UGC, um, SEO, immersive journalism, drone journalism. Uh, we have uh, we have metrics. So maybe let me just come up here and ask this uh, young lady: uh, Have you checked your metrics this morning yet? No. No. Okay. Has anybody uh, checked their metrics this morning? No, it's too early in the morning. Anyway, it, it, all, all of this has kind of become um, quite daunting and quite bewildering. So uh, the idea of the day today is um, to, um, to create something of a protected space for us all, uh, for you, an opportunity to ask questions about all of these things, um, um, a day that goes by the uh, mellow name of MILD, the Media Innovation uh, lab day, uh, or as I like to call it, uh, everything you always wanted to ask about the digital transformation but was afraid to, uh, to, to ask. Um, now to get us in the mood, it is still early morning, some of us are still checking our metrics, uh, some of us are still waking up. To get you in the mood, uh, we're going to start with a moment of uh, musical reflection. Uh, we're going to start with an artist from my hometown, from London. Um, she's, a, she's a poet, she's a songwriter, she's a, uh, a pioneer of the spoken word, spoken word music, of electronic music. Um, very definitely made for minds, as you'll see from uh, her lyrics, her poetry in just a second. She's going to take us into um, what she calls the deep blue pillow of sound. Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Clark. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, it's a little bit early for me. My world, it's usually the other way around. I'm sleeping and, yeah, it's the earliest rock and roll concert I've ever done. <laughs> anyway, but it's a great honor for me to be here. And thank you, Deutsche Welle, for making me so welcome. And, yeah, meeting so many fascinating people and hearing their wonderful ideas. So this is going to be a poetry reading. Please don't all rush out. Um, it's going to be with some very gentle, ambient music. And yes, my friend in the booth up there when you're ready. Far away a niche cuts itself in deeper space. We slip almost unknowing into a deeper, darker place. Inside my dreams, they build business machines. Nothing here is ever what it seems. In the land of haven't got a clue, I'm not to blame for anything I do. In the land of couldn't give a fuck, you pay your money and leave the rest to luck. The man in the moon is watching you and me and everything we do. Life on Mars, a stairway to the stars, cheap flights, fast food, flash cars. Worlds collide, states divide, choose your side landslides third rock from the sun it's only just begun for you and me and everyone I push my head into a deep blue pillow of sound music's echo of time resonating round Comet trails like horses' tails ride an endless night. Beyond the coming morning, beyond the coming light. All around us, a great big book of wonder. 
the earth we walk, the sky we're under. These moments are mine, they belong to me. I bathe in lunar waters, sea of tranquility. The man in the moon is watching you and me and everything we do. The scorched earth catches fire, finds no relief. Can we find it in ourselves ever to conceive? As cities choke and islands disappear in smoke, that maybe what we're doing in some way could provoke. Although all forms are shifting as nature makes its way, the speed of change we're forcing tears our souls away. The moon is full, the river's high. What will become of you and I? The man in the moon is watching you and me and everything we do. Life on Mars, a stairway to the stars. Cheap flights, fast food, flash cars. Worlds collide, states divide. Choose your side. Landslides, third rock from the sun, it's only just begun for you and me and me and everyone. But you know, it's not always so bad. <laughs> Some things are different sometimes. Sometimes things don't go, after all, from bad to worse. Some years Muscadel faces down the frost. Green thrives, the crops don't fail. Sometimes someone aims high and all goes well. A people sometimes will step back from war, elect an honest man, decide they care enough, they can't leave some stranger poor. Some people become what they were born for. Sometimes our best intentions do not go amiss. Sometimes we do as we meant to. The sun will sometimes melt a field of snow that seemed hard frozen. May it happen for you. As a sleeper in Metropolis, you are insignificant. Dreams become entangled in the system. Environment moves over the sleeper. Conditioned air conditions sedated breathing. The sensation of viscose sheets on naked flesh. Soft and warm but lonesome in the blackened ocean of night. Confined in the helpless safety of desires and dreams, we fight our insignificance. Now the harder we fight, the higher the war. Outside, the cancerous city spreads like an illness. Its symptoms in cars that cruise to inevitable destinations, tailed by the silent spotlight of society created paranoia. No alternative could grow where love cannot take root. 
No shadows will replace the warmth of your contact. Love is dead in Metropolis. All contact through glove or partition. What a waste. The city, a wasting disease. Let the morning sun proclaim the light of the world. Let the golden day unfurl on every wave, on every hill. Each angered fist uncurl, caress the hardest heart, stir the sleeping earth, each stone, each blade of grass. The soul of the world, ignite a brand new day. Let the morning sun proclaim a brand new start, a brand new way. There will come soft rains and the smell of the ground and swallows circling with their shimmering sound and frogs in the pools singing at night and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire whistling their whims on a low fence wire. And not one will know of the war. Not one will care at last when it is done. Not one would mind, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly. And spring herself when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to just point out that Anne and I are both uh, children of the 80s. Um, and uh, while I was listening to Depeche Mode and Soft Cell and Spandau Ballet, she was making music with all of those bands um, and um, honing the linguistic skills, the musical skills, the poetic skills that you've just um, graced us with. And so a personal thank you from me as well. Um, and um, uh, it, it's interesting, actually, because um, one of the good things of getting a bit older is uh, that you, um, you begin to, to see some of the jewels that as a young man you didn't see, and we just had one of those jewels. So thank you very much again.